Ah, please turn away here from here. You're an image bearer of God. You're beautifully and wonderfully made. Is that enough? Have you had enough? Is that enough of feeling really self-righteous this morning? It's 2022, and the disgusting antics of anti-abortion radicals are still making headlines every day. But activists aren't standing for it. They're making sure the world sees just how crazy the anti-abortion right really is. Man. They don't want to talk to you. Man, your child is supposed to be to loved for and cared for. They don't want to talk to you. I've Man, already please don't them, go in there. Mama. Bro, leave them alone. You're leave a mother on, today, tomorrow. Dude, leave them alone. Whether you feel like you're going to be you. loved for or cared they for. They don't want to talk to you. Your child is loved and cared for. They don't want to talk to you, dude. Your child is providing for you to Give be Give it up, dude. For. Come on. Come on, dude. You're being Please creepy. don't go in there and kill your child. Dude, come on now. What, what does God what think is of that? What is wrong with you, dude? Come on. Would Cut you it consider out. yourself Christian? Cut it out. Across the country, TikTok users like the Clinic Defender are using their platforms to poke holes in the right's Christian totalitarianism including attempts to intimidate or threaten women on the toughest day of their lives. And they're finding support from an unlikely place, former anti-abortion activists who now regret their actions. Okay, kids, that wraps up our lesson on Adam and Eve. Any questions? Was the talking snake real? Yes, the talking snake was real because we believe the Bible is God's literal words. We take it literally. What about Jubilee and Deuteronomy? Oh, how do you know about that? It's said to cancel and forgive debts every okay, seven okay. years. Um, so we don't take everything literal. So that's talking about spiritual metaphorical debts, okay? Like we don't just forgive financial debts. <laughs> Wouldn't Jesus want us to love and care for our neighbor? Yes, Jesus does ask us to care for those and to love our neighbor, but Jesus can't make me, right? Like the government, you can't make me care for people. <laughs> That's the difference. That was April LaJoy, an ex-conservative and host of the Evangelicalish podcast. She's made headlines for rejecting exactly the kind of extremism we just saw. April's TikToks break down the evangelical movement and provide insights into what makes the far right so deeply anti-choice. A joy in the abortion clinic escorts we saw earlier are flipping the script on religious extremists by using social media to undercut their message. That's because these activists understand that the best way to neutralize the movement is to let them speak for themselves. As it turns out, the far right is excellent at turning people against their cause. And April isn't alone. Evangelical Christian groups have rallied to limit access to abortion for years, but it wasn't always a political issue for them. Enter Francis Schaeffer, an evangelical scholar whose son Frank encouraged him to campaign against Roe versus Wade with Christian literature and movies that they were producing. It is an extraordinary story, for without the Schaeffers, this culture war might not have been so fired up. Any student of the Christian right knows Frank Schaeffer. He was the brains behind propaganda videos that helped launch the modern Christian right. He was known as one of America's most aggressive anti-abortion crusaders. Now Schaefer is making headlines after apologizing for his involvement in what he calls the right's anti-family movement. And while it can be hard to forgive Schaefer for the generations of Americans that he traumatized, he's certainly serious about making amends. Schaefer has spent years pushing back against politicized religion, and nobody knows the inner workings of the Christian right as well as Schaefer, who literally wrote the book on how to radicalize the issue of abortion. I'm correct in assuming, because we stated it, that you are now very regretful of your role in this movement. Yes, I'm, it's like hearing about someone else's life conducted on a different planet. You know, I did the work with my father and the pro-life movement in the 1970s. I'm now pushing 70 years old. This is 50 years ago. And as I look back, I can only say that not only do I regret the impact we had, of course, it was completely unforeseen. Schaefer describes a movement where nepotism and close political connections did the driving, while actual faith took a back seat. He also highlights one of the biggest truths the Christian right doesn't want to admit that Reverend Billy Graham, one of America's most influential evangelical pastors of all time, was unashamedly pro-choice, and Graham wanted nothing to do with what the Republican religious right was selling. Police moved in and arrested three Operation Save America lunatics 
including one armed with a pistol. Operation Save America works on an intimidation-based model. In Tennessee, over 150 demonstrators spent a week protesting outside clinics in Nashville and St. Juliet. Jason Storms personally blocked the doors of one clinic, forcing staff to go into a multi-hour security lockdown. None of this behavior is new. In 1999, the Department of Justice sued Operation Rescue, Operation Save America, and others for obstructing federally protected access to abortion clinics. In the years since, Operation Save America has preached a gospel of stockpiling weapons to ward off any future fight with federal agents. With the Republican Party now leading nationwide efforts to destroy not just abortion but contraception, Jason Storms has rapidly moved from the party's fringe to its main stage. And now Storms is able to call on senior figures in the Republican Party, and he's enjoying a newfound sense of power in this Trumpified GOP. Storms and his extremists are rallying red state legislatures to pass some of the most restrictive abortion laws in the world. That includes one in Missouri that would make it illegal to leave the state to obtain an abortion, even if it's obtained in a state where abortion is legal. Jason Storms has never been closer to his nightmare vision of America. 